the story of Khalif Browder. We obviously can say, oh no, that should never have happened. But then in the same instance, elect a DA that continues to recommend high bail without taking into account what the person can afford. We don't have to wait for the state to pass bail reform. We can have DAs today say we're not going to recommend high bail amounts for people who are committing low-level offenses and invest more money and resources into diversion programs like mentorship programs and, and resources for those you know with mental health issues. Understanding the implications of prosecution is key and I don't think we as a society have really like wrapped our heads around that. Us being able to you know, hold our DAs accountable and ask DAs, what do you mean by reforming criminal justice? Like, what does that look like? What does that mean? Enforcing that conversation can move us forward with fixing a system that continues to, to destroy us.